What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mom, coming at you guys with a relaxer update. Oh, my God, y'all, I've been gone. I'm sorry for the wait and all of that stuff. And I had to go. I had to make a trip. If y'all was following me on my live, if y'all tuned into my live, y'all already know what I was going to do. Okay. Anyways, you guys. Um. Anyway, let me let me say this real quick. Anybody who ordered a bonnet over the last three days, I've been gone. I've went out of town. I'm back now. Your bonnet will be delivered, I mean, shipped tomorrow i apologize but i had to go handle some really important business okay anyways now i'm back to my hair so my relaxer i was oh my god when was i relaxed may june july august september october i don't know july june august September, october it was girl it was three or four months i was post relaxer so um i'm very pleased with my relaxer the right the type of relaxer that i got is called optimum i don't have the box because when i was when I was um leaving, I threw it away when I was cleaning up and, and everything. But um, <clears throat> if anybody interested in this bonnet, by the way, this is the uh, Marvel Comics bonnet. It got a you know Hulk Hogan and who, what Captain America and uh, Incredible Hulk and all of them on it, child. Anyways, on my website listed below, goldencreations.webs.com, creations with a K. Okay, now let me pull this hat bun it off and show you guys my hair and this is what my hair looking like looking like down my back my hair is down my back ah, uh, uh, uh. my hair is down my back but it's not gonna be down my back forever so okay guys I'm gonna show you the, 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 the nitty-gritty of what my hair looking like so I'm gonna come out this way and show you guys the thin ends with Please don't come for me because I'm actually showing you myself. So, ain't no need to tell me my ends thin when I'm showing you that. I know. Okay, look. <sighs> okay. The ends are thin. They was already thin, y'all. For who, on been, who ain't been following me, they didn't get thin and fall out from the relaxer, okay? So, don't even think they did. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't have dared kept my hair because of no doggone relaxer, honey. Um... It was, honey, I, I need it. It's mental purposes, okay? So, anyways, I am not going to explain myself again. If anybody feel like they want to ask, somebody might respond to you in the comment section below. But, uh, y'all, I lost a lot of hair due to chemo and radiation. Um, so, this is my setback from that. I'm trying my best to come back, but my mind and my heart is, like really confused about my hair i really i know what i need to do but i don't wanna as far as you know cutting it and stuff i don't want to do that because i was so 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 doing such a good job with growing it and look imagine if my hair would have never like came out i would have reached my length i would have reached my goal length my goal length was to go to boob length and once this this side is longer this side is shorter but just to show you guys that I came back up. Look, girl. Just to show you guys that if my hair wouldn't have came out, I would have reached my goal by now. I would have been so super duper happy. But unfortunately, I, 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 I'm gonna have to either try real, real hard, and but I'm gonna have to start clipping at it a little bit. I'm not gonna chop it off where it need to be chopped off it <laughs> for now. I don't know. I no, girl i've been thinking about it all weekend that i was gone and i was like you know i'm tired of wearing my hair in these protective styles i really want to wear my hair out and in the state that my hair is in i can't wear it out because it looks a mess you know it looks good but then it looks like ugh, you know i don't know how to explain it but it just need to be cut off child um and i'm very pleased with the way my relaxer turned out it's just it's not the relaxer, it's the length of the hair. It's the it's the breaking off of the ends. This this has nothing to do with the relaxer for all the natural knots that's gonna say something or think something. You've you been following me. Please spare me the naturalness, okay? Um because you ain't gotta comb this hair, honey girl. I do. Uh so either way, I am going to be chopping in my hair, right? That's so depressing, y'all, because I've been through so much with cancer and chemo and radiation and all kind of different drugs and stuff that um, I really, really, really was hoping. I had started my hair growth journey before I was diagnosed with um, cancer, but unfortunately, it was interrupted by cancer, and I would have done so good on my hair growth journey, but I could not. 
I did not because of that. Other than that, by my own self-care and self growth methods or whatever, the things that I, the way that I was treating my hair, I would have been able to be successful in my hair growth journey, but um, I was not because of, you know, cancer, man, I swear. But you know what? I have to be thankful. I have to be thankful and count my blessings because I'm still here. I'm still here and that's the most important thing and I did not want to let my hair go because mentally I was attached to it I could I was going through through so much mentally that if I would have cut my hair off at my mental state that I be in a lot of times I would have gotten worse I really would have because if, if y'all don't know I've been doing thinking doing breathing hair my whole life since I was a little girl I wanted long hair and the cancer came through and just like kind of kicked my hair ass but it didn't kick mine so uh, my hair loss <laughs> it didn't lose because the guy got it back honey all the bald spots God gave it back all the little short pieces God gave it back y'all my hair is still flourishing either way at the end of the day I was I've been doing really good and taking really good care of it even though may some of y'all may think oh I leave my protective styles in too long honey my protective styles have helped me tremendously okay protective styles have helped me anyways child stay tuned to my next video because I might be chopping this hair off a little bit not a lot it's a little chop I don't know maybe a lot listen it's all my mind is all over the place um I know um, I don't want to. I really don't want to. But I'm still happy because I still got my hair. Let me let me first off say that for somebody saying I'm being ungrateful because cancer patients go bald. Listen, honey, I am one of the most grateful people in this world. One of the most grateful people in this world that done been through my situation. You hear me? Different people have different situations. Different people things affect me differently. Some people think hair is just hair, but my hair is not just my hair. My hair is a part of me. It grows out of me. Just like my arm grow I, when I got big and I grew, my hair grow. I know it can grow back if you cut it off, but it's still my hair and I was still attached to it. And at the end of the day, I feel how I feel about my hair. If you feel like your hair is just hair and you chop it off and be bald tomorrow, that's fine. That's your prerogative. Do what you want to do, honey, but I don't feel like that about my hair, okay? I feel like my hair is a huge part of me, you know? It is. So... My hair is one of the first things people see when they look at me besides, you know. <laughs> but uh, we're going we're gonna to have a discussion again tomorrow, y'all. And we're going to talk about my hair and in the next video. How about that? So I'm not going to hold you guys too long. I don't got time for long videos of playing with YouTube. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. My perm came out good. Relax, so came out good. And let me turn around in the back since I didn't show you guys the back. So that's my hair. And thank you guys so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.